Hello everyone. So I am recording this video in English because I think uh, with that I will be able to reach to more people. And this video specifically I believe will help more people uh, because this is a very interesting and very important topic, uh, which is why I wanted to cover this in English. So there is a small update. I completed successfully exam AZ two zero four. I did this few weeks back, and in this video I just wanted to share what exactly. are the resources that i used to uh, prepare for this exam and which were the topics not exactly the topic but the general idea and the general things that i kept in my mind while preparing for this exam as well as the actual exam that happened i just wanted to share that experience before you give this exam as a 204 it is a prerequisite that you have some decent amount of experience working with azure and uh, developing solutions since i already have a job for around 4 years and i have actively worked on azure and other tools and technologies offered by microsoft giving this exam as a 204 was pending from a long time which is why i chose to appear for this and one more thing you cannot prepare all the topics you will not be implementing all the services that are offered by azure So while I have decent experience with virtual machines, storage, service bus, queues, and Kubernetes, there are still some topics which I was not aware of or topics that I have not actively used. So for that, I was looking for some portals, some resources from where I can learn those few extra topics that I have not actively used. I have two places from where I prepared. So one is Microsoft 30 Day Challenge. so there is a 30 day challenge going on for which i will uh, put a screenshot over here in that 30 day challenge you are given a learning path which has all the major topics that will be coming in exam for az204 so most of it is theory part with hands on you get a dedicated sandbox environment to practice those hands on lab and uh, i completed that 30 day challenge in around 16 or 17 days there was a big benefit that i got by uh, by taking that 30 day challenge one is that uh, i got to learn almost all the topics for that is required for az204 as well as i got a 50% off voucher for this exam az204 normally this exam cost anywhere around 165 dollars 165 or 200 dollars and in indian currency it cost around 7000 to 10000 rupees but since i got this 50% off voucher i was able to give this exam in just 3 around 3000 rupees so this is a very big thing for me next place from where i prepared was uh, using this coursera test prep specifically made for az204 i will put a link as well as a, a screenshot over here so that you can see it has eight courses and focuses on uh, making you ready for this exam and i was lucky to get a 30 day free trial for coursera in which i was able to complete and go through all these courses for absolutely free but there was two things that helped me a lot in this coursera uh, by this coursera course okay uh, one is i got to learn again that is i got to revise it again second is here also i got a 50% uh, voucher for this exam in case i failed or i was not able to pass on the first time i can use this voucher and give a give the exam second time next thing that was very nice was that this course specifically had at the end of the course there were some test questions uh, that i can prepare for and uh, strangely most of these questions i would say like 30 to 40% of the questions were the actual questions that came on the test exam so that was very very helpful i will put link to the 30 day challenge as well as this coursera course in the description and i will also put some screenshots here so that uh, you can see exactly which challenge and which course i took uh so that was it for my preparation for the test next is how exactly the test happened so the test was done through online proctored i registered through pearson view and i scheduled this exam at night around 11 pm because for this exam there was some conditions like uh, there should not be too much noise and uh, unfortunately in the evening and in afternoon too many kids play in my area so i thought uh, night will be the best time uh, that's what i decided and on the day when this exam was supposed to happen it was 
all the process was very smooth uh, except for one step where I had to wait for around 15 to 20 minutes just so that some person can come and get me entered in the exam. Uh, apart from that, all the process was very smooth. You, just, you will have to do some things. Uh, you will have to clear your desk. No, no books, no paper, no pen, nothing should be kept on your desk. As well as your room should be like not totally clean but at least your desk area should be clean and the monitor should not be attached. It, it will be better if you can remove your monitor or, or rotate your monitor towards the wall side. When, they, when you are giving this exam, no one should be coming into your room because they are actively monitoring you through the camera. So this is one thing you should take care of, else you will automatically get disqualified. A uh, few of my friends were disqualified. That's why I can say that, uh, please don't do that. Uh, apart from that, the real exam was very smooth. I got around 90 minutes to complete that exam. And the questions are mostly in the form of scenarios. So you will be given some case study and based on that case study, you will have multiple questions. And those questions can be like drag and drop or select one from multiple options. Or there will be some specific parts in the question where you will be asked to complete the code syntax or the method names, uh, which is I think very easy to do. Few questions will be very difficult, I, I can say, because there are little tricky because you will find that this particular question can have two answers but you are supposed to select only one uh, which is sometimes confusing i will discuss those questions in my later videos but that is one thing that you will have to keep in mind so that was it for my experience and to successfully complete your exam you should get score of about 700 and luckily my score was about 700 and I was able to pass this exam. If anyone wants to verify my certificate, I will put link in the description. I will also put my LinkedIn profile in the description so you guys can check and, uh, and congratulate me. So that was it for this video and also a small update. If anyone wants to learn Azure from me as a personal session, then uh, I am ready to take that. You just have to write one email to me at hello at the rate yadavrajesh.com and uh, then we can connect and we can schedule a call for learning Azure. Okay. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions or if you have any comments, please write it down. I will be very happy to read those. And thank you for watching this video. See you in the next one.